Hello everyone, hopefully you're doing pretty well today. My name is Deborah, and welcome to my channel, Crafty Chalking Creations. I'm an independent designer of Chalk Couture, and in today's video, I'm going to be using their transfer. It's called Cotton Tails. Now, this is their largest uh, size transfer. It is a size E, and it, it measures 18 by 24. And what I'm going to be using is their reusable surface. One side is white. One side is black, and it is it goes with their. Um, you can use it on its own, which is what I'm going to do. Or if you have or want to get their, I think they call it outside the box, outside the box frame. Draw a blank on that one for some reason. Like this one right here. It comes with the wood insert. It's the brown, and then it has one side of the wood is white. And one side is black and they have refills if you wanted to get the wood or if you want to get the reusable surface so I'm going to be using the reusable surface but if you wanted to get the frame and insert it in the frame you could do that but I thought I would do a project if you just want to get the reusable surface for uh, that way you can change out for other projects you can and just display it on an easel so um, I'm going to be using this transfer as you can see this transfer is much larger than what the surface is. So I wanted to just use the bunnies. So that's what I'm going to do. Now I'm going to set this aside. Now some people are intimidated by these larger transfers. And um, I'm going to show you how, if you're going to use it in you know, like one half and one half and you're going to, you have a large surface, they want to use the entire transfer on. What you want to do is just keep it on your backer sheet and then just peel up the one side and just use your fuzzing cloth and hold down your transfer and just do that several times until you feel it's comfortable for your surface you know the tackiness because these are reusable and then you just lay it back down and you do the same thing to the other side but I am NOT going to be doing that project today or anything like that I will be putting, I have some 18 by 24 canvases. I'm going to be doing a project with this, you know, the entire one. I just want to use the bunnies. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel this up from the bottom. I'm going to flip it up. Oops. If it should stick on itself like that, just gently peel it back. That's all you need to do. And just hold it down and gently peel it back. And there you go. So, and then I'm going to turn it around so my bunnies are facing me. It's just easier for me to uh, fuzz the surface of the transfer. And then I'll, the same thing. I'm just going to lay it down, my fuzzing cloth. Now, if you don't have a fuzzing cloth, you can use a towel or a piece of fabric to help minimize some of the stickiness. Because you want it to adhere to your surface well, but you don't want to adhere so well to where you can stretch and distort your transfer. You want to get as much use out of this as you possibly can. What I also like about this is it has other elements of this design like let's say you like the framed design around it you can just use that and do a different project inside of it. You just want to use the bunnies you can. If you want to use like the little saying down here that says carrots, let, uh, lettuce, flowers, peas and do some artwork you could do that also. Just the cottontail part, you can do that too. There's a lot, quite a few elements with this large transfer that you could use. All right, so got that fuzz. I'm going to turn it back around. I'm going to still keep it attached to, oops, to my backer sheet because I'm just using a portion of it, and it just makes it easier for me to put my my surface. I'm going to paste on here and then flip this over and that way when I'm done I can just lay my transfer down and just carry it to the sink on the backer sheet and just make it easier for me to to carry it and clean it and then I can just peel the whole thing off of the sink off the backer sheet to clean it all right so oops stuck on itself again all right so all I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this down what I like about this it's more transparent so you can see where your placement is. So I need to kind of adjust this a little bit. 
Like I said, I just want the bunnies, but as you can see, the letters in that, the words, I should say, fit on there. So if you want to put that, incorporate that in your design, you can. So I'm going to try to see if this, that works. All right, I need to move it over. Because see, I've got my grass over here, and it's off a little bit. I mean, you don't have to be exact, exact. I would just like to center mine a little bit more. And I'm not putting the wording on there either. I literally just want the bunnies. So I need to come over this way a little bit. If you're going to use any of the wording, then you'll obviously want to center it with the wording. Okay. I think that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to do is smooth this over with my hands. Just to make sure I've got good contact with my surface. And that way if there's any little fuzzies or little lumps and bumps, Anything that's preventing from good contact, you can feel it, and you can just go ahead and peel it up. Okay, so it's going to be like that. Yeah, I think it'll be okay. I'm just trying to picture this. She's going to be over here with the babies, and the babies are over here. You know what? I think I'm going to... All right, I gotta hold this up and see if I like where that's at. Cause then I have all this open space over here. I think I would like her to have her centered a little bit more. You can do yours however you want. I mean, if you're gonna put a bow on there or something like that, you can leave that open. If you want to do some, you know, some other little saying up there, you could. But I like, I like Mama Bunny to be a little bit more centered. I like that much better. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and re-smooth this over. It looks a little wonky. <laughs> oh. It's off just a little bit. This could be a bit more of the time-consuming part, but you know what? I'd rather you see this. That way you don't think oh, everything just magically lines up right off the bat. It doesn't this bores you, you could fast forward. I mean, I would prefer that you didn't, but hey, you have options. Okay. All right. I think that looks pretty good. She's here, there, there. All right. All right. Got that smoothed over. Now you can use any color paste that you would like to use. It is totally up to you. I'm using camel paste because even though I'm going to put it in an easel, I would also like to be able to put it in the frame and see the back, my background is white. I'm trying to kind of coordinate it a little bit with my frame. I painted the other side white and sanded it. So that way, uh, you know, I can just have two different looks. And I like that they have refills. So that way if you like the wood grain look and that's what you want to use, you can do that. If you want the reusable surfaces, and change out your design all the time, which is I love, you know me, I'm all about reusables, then um, this would be perfect for that too. All right, so um, I'm going to be using Camel. Now this is what their Camel looks like. And when I first started, I could swore that their Camel was a lighter color. So I kept the jar and I mixed some camel with some white. So this is what I'm going to be doing. So if you want to use a lighter shade, you can. See the shade difference? There's the camel and here's the camel with the white. So I mix that because I like to have a little bit lighter of a shade. So that's totally optional for you, but that's what I'll be using. But if, like I said, you can use whatever color you would like. And I'm going to be using a small squeegee. And all you need to do is dip your squeegee into your paste. And I'm just doing the bunnies. So that is where I'm going to place my paste at. Now, if you are concerned that you might get it somewhere you don't want it, you can always use some painter's tape or placement tape and just tape off those sections. That way you don't have to worry about it. 
and I'm just generously applying it and as I'm applying it I'm kind of squeegeeing off a little bit of the excess. Now if you're going to use this entire transfer on a surface you might want to do it in sections and do the peel and lift method so that way your paste does not dry inside your silk screen on your surface because if that happens you'll you'll just pull it up and you'll have blank spots. But yeah, if you like this video or any of the projects, I you know, I've got uh, over 100 videos. I think over 150, actually. If you'd like to watch those, you're welcome to do that. And, um, but yeah, you go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. It helps me with YouTube. And then um, be sure to click that notification bell, so that way you'll be notified of whenever I post another video. I'll also have a link down in the description box for any of these products that are available from Chocotour. If you'd like to get any, you could do that. And I will also have a link if you'd like to get on my email list. That way I can notify you of any personal sales or anything going on that I think you need to know about. I can send you an email. All right, so I've got that on. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to peel this up. We're going to peel and reveal. I think this would look nice and gray, their storm gray color. Oh, I love this. Oh my goodness, I love this. Such detail, I just absolutely love this. Okay, I'm gonna slide this off and I'm gonna set it aside really quick. And I'm just gonna lay my transfer down and then I can carry it over to the sink because I just used a section of it. And if you want, you can go ahead and let this air dry if you would like to. I mean, this would be something if you just like, you like rabbits, doesn't necessarily have to be for Easter. But, you know, you have maybe a woodland type theme or you just like bunny rabbits. I think that would be awesome just, just to use that section on its own. Now, like I said, you can just let this air dry while you go clean your transfer. But I'm going to go ahead and dry this with my little drying tool here. Kind of speed things along so that way if you wanted to see how this looks in the outside box frame, or outside the box frame, I think that's what it's called, um, you get some idea of how it looks. And at the end of this video, I will also have some pictures posted of how it looks on an easel and uh, inside the, the frame. That way it gives you some idea of how it will look framed. Or you may even also have a frame that you like to use yourself. Oh, I did forget to mention, which you probably would like to know, the size that I'm using, this is a 12 by 18. This is the reusable surface. This is a 12 by 18. And the outside box frame is a 12 by 18 that I was showing you. Got to mention that earlier. But yeah, I like the camel mixed with the white. It's just a little bit lighter. Dune is a little too light for me. So yeah, that's what I did. Almost dry. I think that a compliment on the frame, really nice, with that brown, uh, the brown wood that's on the frame. Okay. Now, like I said, I painted this side white, and it comes with the wood insert. Oops, wrong way. And one side has that slot. This is how your frame will come. It will ha it'll be all, all the brown. And you just slide it in there. And that way, if you wanted to add a little bow, or like a little tag, or tie some twine, maybe have some little flowers over here. Oh, I love that. I really do. I hope you enjoyed this project. And... Uh, 
you give one of those size 80 transfers a try. And you can just, like I said, with this one, you can just use portions of it. All right. Thank you so much for watching and you have a wonderful day.